All right, so here we go. This is the Ibanez Maxon, early 90s. I believe it's a 94-ish. Uh, some of the codes on the electrolytic caps, which I will include with this in the auction. So I've installed a true bypass switch, just to show you some of the work here. It's all done very professionally by myself. It has an input grounding circuit can see right there so no pops or, or loud pops when you're switching back and forth and there's no added resistors some people add a one meg resistor to avoid the popping but the input grounding true bypass wiring works great and in doing that uh, putting the metal jacks in left room in here for this to fit comfortably and of course these are just better jacks anyway so now for the modification, you can see for the true bypass switching, some of the components were taken out to avoid all this stuff right in through here. This is just basically for the FET switching, which has now has been removed. There's a resistor here that's removed, a resistor here, a transistor here. This was moved over from the old switch for the LED. So all this stuff is bypassed. So not only is it true bypass, but all the FET switching within it has been bypassed as well. And there's a jumper. So now for the uh, 808 mod, you see the electrol ticks have all been replaced with the good Muse non-polarized or bipolar electrol tick caps, high quality. Um, the five band Alan Bradley resistors for the 808 mod. These are carbon comp, new old stock, five band for higher tolerance. You don't see these all the time. Also with that, there are the blue striped diodes that I had installed. New old stock for the clipping diodes. So right there, I'm not sure if we can see them real well. But there they are. Uh, chip in socket is the JRC4558D, but you can exchange it out with the RC4558D, the one that Keeley uses. Now, this is a replica of the Analog Man Silver Mod. This is not an Analog Man pedal, but I have studied these thoroughly and have done literally 50 or 60 of these mods. And I've come down to the parts that, all the high quality parts that I order, all these fine metal film caps. These guys here, all Panasonic. Closer tolerance, quieter, better bass response. That's what all equals down to. Now, your tube screamer is your tube screamer. This thing sings, it sustains, uh, it's very tight and punchy, and it's but it's clear. It's The mid-range has been cleared up a bit. It's articulate, but uh, any of these mods does not make it sound like another kind of pedal. It's still a tube screamer type pedal, which is the beauty of it. All right, so there's all the mods, and you can see the clean work done here. I also cleaned the surface of the circuit board with contact cleaner. There are no torn up traces or any ripped. I've also uh, done the reinforcement of the DC jack for better grounding. The uh, attachment where the circuit board attaches to the chassis has not been compromised. There's no cracks here. Sometimes they're broken off because in years before they would have a DC jack here that would come out and the people would put them on the floor and they'd get kicked and crack the circuit board here. This one has never been compromised. All in good shape. It says max on right here on the board. So these were definitely made in Japan from the same factory that the original tube screamers made from. Uh, these chassis are a little bit heavier duty. Uh, the metal plating, all original. There's no CE sticker up in the corner here, so you know it's a it's an older reissue. Okay, this is not from the original run. This is a reissue. 
everything is intact. Everything. The battery cover. It says Max on as well. So there are no falsities here at all. But it has been modified. Uh, and it sounds great. So uh, the foam has been replaced. When I took the foam out to uh, disengage the old switch, of course the foam just disintegrated. So new foam has been put in there. Um, can you actually even see the clean plate down there? No wires. There's no wires hanging off of anything from, you know, quick snip or any of that. Everything has been professionally completed. So that is the mod. No crackly pots. These are all working real nice. So there we go. All right, now for a quick rundown of this pedal in action. Works 100%. There's the bypass, no popping. Got that input grounding circuit in there. Makes a great switching system. Again, all the FET uh, circuit has been bypassed as well. Uh. Wait a minute, maybe not. No, that was opposite. That was maximum output. Here's maximum gain. Set it to your settings and go with it. Well, that's it. Oh, here's a quickie on the all the original parts, all the FET stuff. The extra chip is in there. Kind of inserted in a piece of foam. There's the jacks. So all the original stuff will come with this pedal. All right.